Hey, today we're gonna to show you how to install one of these AeroOasis air purifiers into your supply ductwork. AeroOasis is an AHPCO, that stands for Advanced Hydrated Photocatalytic Oxidation. If you wanna know more about the science behind it, then I would suggest listening to the HVAC School podcast that I did with John Bennett, where he goes into all the science. The main thing you need to know is it's a very reliable, very simple to use unit. We're gonna show you not only how we install it in a duckboard application, because that's what we have here in Florida, it works in other applications as well, but also how we wire it up to go on and off with the equipment. It's a couple different strategies that can be used. We show you how to do it simply using just the G-Call and an upsized transformer. You can also use an alternate transformer and a relay as another option. I'm gonna do a video at some point showing you how to do that as well. But we wanna show you how easy this is. Now, one thing to know is this does put off a very small amount of ozone. They have some various bulbs that can be used, and that's the reason why we cycle it off with the equipment, on and off with the equipment. But it keeps it within the safe levels, and in fact, in most cases, you're gonna see that the indoor levels of ozone will be less than the outdoor levels of ozone when you use this product. This product uses ions, or hydroxyl ions, in order to go into the airstream, attach themselves, and neutralize different particles in the air. And that includes things like bacteria, viruses, uh, volatile organic compounds, and all the other kind of nasty stuff that you don't want in your air. Okay, so we're going to back out the screws here. Um, the power plug is on the bottom portion. The airflow needs to be going through the Nano. So you back out the screws so that way it can be set in place. At that point, you can re-secure the screws. So today how we wired this particular one in is it's really nice because it comes with a plug. Plug it into the transformer and then it plugs in directly. On this particular one, because we wanted it functioning while we were getting a G-call, we actually didn't use this portion of it. We removed the transformer that came with the equipment and replaced it with a 70 VA transformer. So that way it has the capacity to also handle the equipment as well as the AeroOasis Nano. So what I'll do is I'll walk you through how we wired it up. All right, so how we wired it up is installed the Nano. You have your power supply, which is a 24 volts, and it's literally taking those two lines. One goes to your common, and one goes to your green, or your blower. So your supply power is coming from your common, low voltage, 24 volts, and your G-call or your blower call. That's going directly from there with 24 volts and feeding your Nano. Whenever we have a G call, it's going to activate the AeroOasis Nano. Because we did this and it's functioning with the equipment, we also replaced the transformer with a 75 VA transformer um, that's rated for 3.75 amps. It's a resettable fuse on it. Um, and then you also have your system fuse in line. So that just wires up like a normal transformer would, and then you wire up your Nano. All right, thanks for watching this quick video on the Induct Nano product from AeroOasis, made right here in the USA. We'll talk to you next time.